This video will show you the new Android support for C++ Builder in XZ6. I'm going to show you a few of the sample applications that come with XZ6 for mobile application development on Android. And then I've got a little surprise at the end. The first example is a snippet that's included that uses the location sensor component and then displays the location of where you are by using the web browser and Google Maps. So here we've got the location sensor component. It has some properties, setting the accuracy, the distance, whether a large or small location change will trigger an event. You can set that, for example, to large. And then it has an event called on location change. And we have code associated with this that'll take a string to go to Google Maps. And then we'll use SprintF to take the new location, latitude and longitude that we get uh, as a parameter on the location change event and put that into the string. And then we'll call the web browser navigate to take the latitude and longitude in the string and display Google Maps on our Android device. Over in the target platform, I've got several different Android devices installed. I've got Google Glass, I've got Nexus 7 tablet, and I've got a Samsung Galaxy S4. Let's enable that target device. And then we'll click the Run button to compile and run. I've got a little utility over here that lets me display what I've got running on my Android device so you can see it. So we've got the switch to turn on the location sensor. I can play with the trigger and distance and the accuracy, and then it'll display the latitude and longitude and the Google map down in the browser window. So let's turn on the location sensor. There comes the latitude and longitude. I'm here in Scotts Valley and there's the map down at the bottom. So that's how easy it is with C++ Builder and Android to location enable your application. You can also take the same application and compile it for iOS and run it on an iPhone and an iPad. The second example I want to show you is a share sheet. This application has a bitmap here. This is the T image that's occupying the client space. And we've got two buttons, a take photo button and a share button. The take photo button has an action associated with it, which is called take photo from camera action. These are a set of default actions. Here in the standard actions, in the media library category, we've got a show share sheet action, take photo from library action, take photo from camera action. So this first button is associated with the take photo from camera action and its event handler on did finish, meaning I'll accept the picture that I took. Uh, it'll fire and it will take the image that comes from the camera and it will assign it to the bitmap property of the image on the application desktop. And then the share button is associated with the show share sheet action. And the show share sheet action uh, has an event handler associated with it. It's going to take the bitmap from the T image in our application and it's going to assign it to the bitmap of the show share sheet action. And that action then is going to display all the different apps that are on my Android device that know how to do something with a bitmap. So let's run this on our target uh, Android device. Again, my Samsung Galaxy S4. And let's take a look at it in action. So here's the application running. We'll click the Take Photo button. I'll click the Take a Picture. And then I can discard it or I can save it. When I click the Save, then I'm back to my application. And now with the share sheet action, I can see all the different applications that, sh that can do something with a bitmap. So I might, for example, post this picture on Facebook or on Twitter. So let's just put Facebook. And now I've got the image. I can add other things and post it on Facebook. So the share sheet action example using pre-built actions that you can hook into your application for taking a photo and sharing it with another application on your phone or your tablet. Now one last example is an application I built. This is a Google Glass Android application written in C++. I've chosen for the design surface Google Glass. It gives me a nice layout where I can put my application components. I've got a location component, just like you saw before, that's going to get the location of where I am wearing my Google Glass. Uh, it's got the T-Web Browser component on the surface of the Google Glass display interface. And I've got a style book, and this style book I've used to load up a special Google Glass style file that we have. And then on the form, 
I associate that style book with the form so I get this nice dark background to match what you get in Google Glass. If I go and look at the code behind on the form, I have a form create event. In the form create event, I set the location sensor active to true. And then on the location change, I'll take this string to go to Google Maps and pass the latitude and longitude I get on the location change event to get the new location, latitude and longitude, and then call the web browser component a navigate method with that string. A couple other things I've done. I wanted to hook voice command into the Glass application. So we do that by uh, adding the Android manifest template XML file into the project. And then I added a, an intent in the intent filter section, which the intent is the voice trigger intent. So we specify that. And then I needed to add a metadata tag for the voice trigger where I can specify in an XML file uh, the voice command string that I want it to look for. And I've done that by adding an XML file and the trigger keyword for that voice trigger start XML file and I just say map my location. And then finally under project deployment I added the voice trigger start XML file as an additional file to be deployed to my Google Glass device, put it in the res uh, XML remote path, and there's the same XML file that's there. So let's go under target uh, Android. In this case, I've got my glass. So let me put that on here and I'll, and then so you can see what's going on, I've got uh, my glass app that, that comes with it and it has this nice screencast. So for example, I'm at OK Glass. So I'll say OK Glass map my location. And the voice command caused my C++ Builder Android Google Glass application to be launched. And now it's getting the location from the location sensor and it's going out to the Google Maps API to get me the map which shows that I'm here in Scotts Valley in our offices. Being able to build Android applications in C++ Builder XE6, being able to build those applications for iOS and Android and support for Google Glass, voice commands, and Google Glass style all inside of your applications. All this is new with the full Android support in C++ Builder XZ6. Have a great time building mobile applications and now with Android C++ support.